Welcome again to Ask a Slave. Now, I must say, I was a bit disappointed with the level of conversation we had last week. I think y'all need to remember that this here is the household of the President of the United States. So I'm hoping that this week, y'all will be a little more high-minded. All right, now let's get to the questions. If you're a slave, why do you have clothes? Don't this woman know even a horse has shoes? Okay, so this is kind of a personal question, but do you get, like, an extra set of underwear? What's underwear? What do you think of Harriet Tubman? I don't know any Tubmans. The only Harriet I know is down at the mill. She's all right as long as you keep her from the whiskey. She gets so liquored up, she could throw herself on the ground and miss. Hi, Lizzie May. I'm, I'm a huge fan. Um, I was just wondering, what is it that you're working on? Oh, this? It's a shirt. I've got to sew nine shirts a week, and that's on my downtime. By hand? Well, I don't use my feet. Oh my god. That is just so... Like, I can't imagine how anyone with a conscience would actually, like, make people be enslaved. You must pay your seamstress good. Oh, I don't have a seamstress. Oh, you make your own clothes? No, I just buy it at the store. You mean to tell me you don't know the person who makes your clothing? No. Then how do you know she ain't in the same position I am? Oh. Now, I believe we have another question, but... Wait, Emma? Emma the Runaway? Is that you? Miss May? Oh, oh, it's been so long! Girl, it's been forever! How you been? Oh, you know. New leaf, same page. How's my ma? How's little Bessie? Your ma is doing just fine, but little Bessie ain't so little no more. She got herself pregnant by the butcher's son. Lame Jack. Yes, indeed. Tis only natural. Now wait just one corn shucking moment. Cut the idle chatter and get to the point here. Where on God's green earth are you? You know I can't tell you that. Your mouth runs like a stream. <clears throat> you know it's true. You are the biggest gossip in Virginia. Master Washington would have me back in less than a fortnight if you got with of where I am. Now, Emma, that ain't fair. No Negro worth his weight in salt would snitch on his own. Besides, you owe me that much. Ever since you took flight, I've been working double. And on top of that, they got me training my little Becca. Becca? Oh, she ain't even big enough to cast a shadow. Don't I know it. But what can I do? At least they haven't sold her. Oh, Lizzie May, I just couldn't take it no more. You couldn't take it. I'm the one that had to nurse the missus when she took to her bed for a week over you leaving. Oh, my dear, dear Emma, what would she ever do without me? What would I do without her? What, does she want a list? <laughs> <laughs> now, Emma, tell me fair and true, what's it like being free? Oh, Lizzie May, it, it is the most beautiful feeling, you know, there's really nothing to describe it unless you experience it yourself. Oh, oh shite, shite. Gotta, gotta go. go. Oh, wait, Lizzie May. Yes? Put a little hemlock in a tea for me, will you? Just enough to make her sick. But not enough to kill her. Just like old times. <laughs> nothing would give me greater joy. <laughs> Thank you.